Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to The Common Room. Today is an exciting day as we are going to be opening a subscription box that we have never seen on this channel before. So join me as we open our very first cauldron crate, the diary box. I have been so excited to receive this box. I've been waiting on it for a few months. This box only comes out once every four months. And the last box, I saw an unboxing of it and it just had some really great pieces. And the box that we received that started at the beginning of 2021 is the Horcrux series. So this first box is based all around the diary Horcrux. And I think that's just a really cool idea and I'm very excited to see what different kind of items are gonna be in here that are just related to the diary. One thing that I did wanna let you guys know before we get this open is I did order one item from the Culture and Crate shop. Now, I'm located in the US and these boxes come out of the United Kingdom and the shipping is a little much coming over here. But I actually, I sent an email to Leanne who is the curator of this box and I asked her if there was any way that I could get this other item put in with this shipment to help me save on the shipping. Because I think the item itself was like $8, but the shipping was going to be $18. And she was really awesome. She put it in with this box and was able to refund me the additional money for shipping. So I just wanted to let you know that if that is an issue that you are maybe going to experience, that it definitely doesn't hurt to reach out to her because she was amazing. Now, I didn't show the box at the beginning like I usually do because I didn't want to open this. So I can tell that there's a box in here, but there's also something soft in here and I didn't want to spoil myself on it. So we're just going to open this whole package together. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> I'm very excited. So taking everything out of the packaging, I can see that there is this really heavy box and also this sweater on top of it. I can see there's a little something on my sweater. I'm not sure, but let's just go ahead and see what it is. It's very thick. Oh, I see a pygmy puff. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just a black sweater. There's nothing on the front or the back, but it has something on the sleeves. So this is actually kind of cool. I kind of like having something that is just plain and simple, but it has a little bit of Harry Potter on the sleeves. And it looks like it's Ginny Weasley themed. So we have on this sleeve, we have three little pygmy puffs and they have kind of this gold, little bits of gold coming off of them. And then on the other sleeve, we have this little saying it says anything's possible if you've got enough nerve we all know that's a Ginny quote and it has it's all in gold and it has the same kind of little gold things coming off the side of it and that wand I'm pretty sure that wand is accurate to her wand she has in the movies I'm not a hundred percent sure because I don't own Ginny's wand but it looks like it's the one from the movies so that is Again, I'm getting really sad because I've gotten a few sweatshirts. I got this one from Geek Gear and it's long sleeve, but I'm still wearing it. But this one is a warm, soft sweater. That's very soft. That's going to be cozy in the winter time. So yeah, I won't be able to wear it sadly probably for a while because the heat wave is coming and it's not cold outside anymore. But that's a really interesting take on getting a sweatshirt in a box because it's just kind of simple, but I like having the designs on the sleeve. So I think I do like that. Okay, so now we have the actual cauldron crate box. So I am super excited. I haven't ever opened this before. And I know she's had some really cool items. Now, the one item that I ordered, I will definitely let you know when we get to that one because it's not originally part of the box. So let me go ahead and give you guys our sneak peek. Ooh, ooh, it's got green stuff in here. One thing I wanna let you guys know before we get into this, I completely forgot. So you can get two different options of the cauldron crates. They have the normal version and then they have a premium version. 
Now the premium version comes with a few more items. I do have the premium version. So once we go over the cheat sheet, I'll let you know which items were specific to this box. Another cool thing about Cauldron Crate is it says that there's at least one personalized item in every box. So that might be why I have some green tissue paper here because I'm a Slytherin, but we'll see. So pulling this tissue paper away, we have a bunch of purple and brown little squigglies in there. Okay, there's like four big things. I don't wanna open that box. I feel like good things always come in the boxes. These are all so heavy. Let's see. So this is the first thing we're gonna open. It's wrapped up very nicely, which is nice since it was shipped from so far away. Looks like some kind of potion. This is really cool. You guys, this is so nice. So this is basilisk venom. And the potion inside of it, it's like, you can see it's not just liquid, it's like moving around and kind of gel-like. But everything on this, I can already tell, is just fantastic. So it has this really nice little label that says freshly harvested basilisk venom. It says causes drowsiness, blurred vision, and death within one minute. And it says antidote provided. And it has this really fun little charm on the side that you can see is a little basilisk fang. And even the top of it, so we have this really dark like brown and black wax seal that has a snake in it or a basilisk in it. And then you can see what's wrapped around on top looks like snake skin also. So that is a fantastic potion. I really, really like that. I think that's gonna look really fun on my potion shelf. Okay, there's another thing that's wrapped up like that. So we're gonna wait for that one in case it's another potion. <gasps> what are you? We have this little chest here and it's just a wooden chest and on the top it says RH, which I'm assuming is for Rubius Hagrid, maybe. Let's see if there's anything in it. I love it. So you open this up and you have your own little acromantula, which is supposed to be Aragog. He's so cute! Oh, let me pull him out of here. He's got some squigglies on him. Oh, there's so many eyes. Oh, I love him. So it looks like he is a, a little crocheted acromantula. And you can see he's got all his little eyes right there. And I really like that he he's kind of multicolored. So you can see that he's mostly black and gray, but he's got a few of these little, his little feet that are like a red or orange color. But he's really cute. I'm gonna have to, I have a Hagrid shelf on my bookshelves now, so he might have to find a home on there. But I love, I love the presentation of this. Like I love, that he's in his little Rubius Hagrid box, which is how you see him in the movies whenever Tom Riddle finds him in the memory. But I think that is a really nice piece. I cannot wait to put that on my shelves because that's gonna look amazing. So I like this piece also. It's starting out very strong. trying to because I know there's a few big things on top. Let's see if we can find anything else on the bottom. I don't know what this is. I think, I think that this is, I don't know what this is called, but a lot of people use, it's this kind of tape that you can use to decorate like 
scrapbooks or planners just to kind of give it a little bit of life. And you can see this one has a snake on it and it's Slytherin related because it says, because it says ambition right there. So there's Slytherin one and then we have another one. Okay, this is really hard to see. I will try to take some pictures of it. It took me a minute to figure out what it was saying, but I don't know if the camera will be able to catch it, but you can see that there is like a very faint picture of a basilisk on there and it says, hello, Harry. And you can tell that it is the handwriting from Tom Riddle's diary. Yeah, it's really hard to see. I'm not sure if maybe, maybe there's something that activates it, like maybe glow in the dark or maybe heat activated, something like that. We'll definitely take a look at that in the cheat sheet, but Again, I will try to take pictures of that so you can see it a little better because it's very faint, but you can tell from the writing that it is the writing from the movies, which is really cool. So this is, let me take it out of this plastic. So this piece is, it's some kind of charm. I don't know what exactly I would put it on, but it's a really pretty charm. You can see that it has a little charm, which is the Tom Riddle diary. And then it also has a little basilisk fang next to it. And it's all designed with the gold and black that the diary comes in. I really like the charm. Um, I'm not sure what it's for. That's another thing that I'll look at the cheat sheet for, but it's a very pretty item. There's a few little bags in here, so I'm gonna get those out. I don't know what this is, but it looks like something I can make into a potion. So it comes in this really pretty little orange bag. I think, okay, I think that this goes maybe with the Basilisk Venom because on the Basilisk Venom, it said antidote provided. And this is just like a little, a little very tiny clip on and Anything with a potion, when it has an antidote, it's usually a very small little vial that comes with it. But this is beautiful. This has these little wings on it. And it says, oh, it says Phoenix Tears on there. And it's got these really pretty little clear gems. That's really cute. And I could definitely set that right next to that Basilisk Venom as the antidote. So that will probably be going on my potion shelf. It's very tiny, but again, antidotes are supposed to be like that. Oh, oh, there's a pin here and I love pins. So let's see what our pin is. So we have, oh, this is a really amazing pin. I love this. This is spot on perfect for this box. So it's called the, it says Achievement Award Enamel Pin. And it says, awarded to Tom Riddle for special services to Hogwarts. So that is the award that was given to Tom Riddle that Ron had to polish multiple times. And that's why he knows who Tom Riddle is. That is so, so nicely done. I am a big fan of that. That's amazing. This bag doesn't have anything in it. And I'm wondering if maybe it was supposed to have that tape. Would this fit in here? I don't know. But there's something that's supposed to be in this bag. So I'm gonna set this to the side and we will see. I bet it was this, was in the bag. This is the item that I ordered separate. And it's just, it's so small, but such a cool piece. So I ordered the Resurrection Stone replica. And it's just as simple. It doesn't have the Deathly Hallows symbol in it like it does in the movies, but I just think that's amazing. I've been looking for a really good replica of this. And seeing this in person, I've tried to look for a few of these on like Etsy and they're always pretty expensive. Now, being able to get this for $8 was amazing. And 
especially talking to Leanne and having her add it to this box to help me with shipping. I am very, very excited about this. But again, this was not included in the box. I did purchase this separately from the shop. A big reason that I wanted to purchase this Resurrection Stone is I have a couple replicas that are in the Marvalo Gaunt ring, but I didn't have anything of the stone by itself. And getting this for my collection completes my Deathly Hallows collection. So I have a Etsy made beautiful invisibility cloak replica. And then I have the Elder Wand. And now I have the actual Resurrection Stone, which is amazing. I am so excited to complete my collection. There are a few things at the bottom of the box that I went ahead and pulled out. We have a few things here. Let's see what this is. So this says the Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemy of the air beware. And I think it's like a temporary. Okay. So this is, it's a, just a decal that you can put anywhere that you really want. And it looks really nice. It looks just like it does in the movies with the blood kind of dripping down. So I know a lot of people would probably put these like on their electronics. You can put decals on like your laptops or your iPads. So that's a really fun little piece to have that is definitely Chamber of Secrets related. We have some little stickers here. Now I know that a lot of subscription boxes come with stickers. I really haven't received any. So let's see what we have. This first one I really like. It says, you're welcome to share my toilet, which is a quote from Moaning Myrtle. And it just has the little picture of the toilet. I think that's really, just really cute. So I do like that one. We have this really nice, oh, it kind of, I'll have to show you, it like glitters a little, but it has a picture of Tom Riddle. And it, it looks a lot like the actor from the Chamber of Secrets. And it says, I am Lord Voldemort coming out of the diary. And you can see it kind of reflective on there. So that's a really pretty one also. And then this one is probably my favorite out of the stickers. So this is the Tom Riddle diary and it has the basilisk fang stabbed into it. And you can see the ink and everything like flowing out from it. And so I think that one's really nicely done. So those are really pretty little stickers. Okay, we have four more items that I can see. Nope, five more items. I'm gonna, this one looks like it could maybe be personalized. I don't know. We're going to open this one. There's just this little black envelope here. Looks like it is a print. It's a really pretty print also. It says the, oh, it has, it has different years. That's really fun. So it says the diary in the middle and you can see it's three different scenes. So on the first scene, it is 1943 and it shows Tom Riddle with Moni Myrtle or before she was a ghost. And then your middle scene is 1992 and it shows Jenny writing in the diary. And then your last scene is from 1993 and it has Harry in the Chamber of Secrets. It looks like he might be destroying the diary in that picture. You can see that there's something. Yeah, he has a basilisk thing in his hand, so he is destroying it there. So that's a pretty unique little print also. I can definitely probably find a place for that on my shelves. Okay, let's go ahead and open another one of these boxes. I'm gonna, hmm, hmm. Okay, we're gonna do this other one that was wrapped up like the potion. I think it is another potion, but let's see. Ooh, I can tell that this one's a lot different. Oh, okay. So I'm not always the biggest fan of like bath products in a box, 
mainly because I don't use them. But this is really nicely displayed that I could still probably put it on my potion shelf, so I am okay with that. So this is House Bath Salts. This is specific for Slytherin, and it says it is a lime and eucalyptus. And then you can see it says cauldron crate on there. But it's it's presented really nicely. It has this Slytherin wax seal on the top. And it's one of those little bottles that you can, you know, take your little spoon and get it out of there. But it definitely looks like it could be a some kind of potion. And it says Slytherin on the front. So I'll probably add this onto my potion shelf. I think that it's done nice enough that I can put it on there without it being very obvious that it is bath salts. So the next item that I'm gonna open is this really pretty green envelope. And it has, so I opened this up a little bit. I didn't look in it, but I didn't wanna destroy the wax seal. But you can see it has another one of the seals with the S on it for Slytherin. And I'm wondering if this is maybe our personalized item since it's green and Slytherin related. But let's see. Oh, I love it. This is incredible. I am so excited. So it says, welcome to Hogwarts, certificate of acceptance. Allie, you've been sorted into Slytherin. I love it. It says, or perhaps in Slytherin, you'll make your real friends. Those cunning folks use any means to achieve their ends. And that is gorgeous with that silver foiling. This is like my first personalized item that I've gotten. And I really like it. I like that it's sorting me into Slytherin because that's my house. I really like that. I think that's a really, really fun piece to put in a subscription box. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I can't wait to put it on my shelves. Probably my year one shelf, because that's when I would get sorted. I like that a lot. <laughs> okay, we've only got two items left. I'm gonna leave, there's one that we're all gonna know what it is, but I'm gonna leave it to last. But there is this white box that has a cauldron crate sticker on it. So let's go ahead and see what we have in here. It's hard for me to think of things that we could be getting. Cause I know it's oh, ruining the sticker. Cause I know it's diary related, but they also have a lot of things in here from the book, just from Chamber of Secrets. So let's see. Ooh, it's a mug. I've also never gotten like a real mug out of a box before. Okay, so it's it's a mug that has that same print that we got with the three different scenes. It's a really good quality mug. It's ceramic and it just has that print kind of on there as well. You can see it goes all the way across the edge. Now I have to have a cup of coffee every morning, so I do like this. I think it, it's very well made. And I do like that scene on the print. It's very pretty. And now we have our last item, which as soon as I show it to you, you're gonna be able to have at least an idea of what it is. So I'm assuming we have maybe a diary in here, but let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh no, it'll probably be okay. So we have a, a very nice replica of Tom Riddle's diary. It looks very similar. I have one that I went over on my bookshelf tour. It's very similar, but the only thing that made me a little upset is you can see that my pages are just a little damaged right there. Let's see how much of a difference it makes though when we open it. It's not too big of a deal. I would probably be displaying it anyways instead of using it. But it just has, I never know how to open these because his name's on the back of it. So this should be the front. But it just has blank pages, which is really fun because it's just like the pages in the movie diary. 
doesn't have any lines. It's just parchment. Comparing this to the Noble Collection replica, I, there's a few things on here that I do really enjoy. Now, with the Noble Collection replica, the metal pieces on the edges are a little bigger and a little bulkier. And these are just fitted really nicely. You can see they're, they're a little smaller, but they look good on the book. Like that's the size they should be. So yeah, I think that if you were wanting, if you aren't like me and don't have both of the Noble Collection Tom Riddle Diary replicas, that you would be very happy with this one. This one is very good quality and definitely a really nice piece to get in a box. I decided to get the Noble Collection Diary down so we could compare the two because I really, really like this one. And I just kind of wanted to show you a few of the things that I was talking about on the Noble Collection Diary. So you can see the the Noble Collection, the leather on it is a little, it's a little more textured than the one from Culture and Crate. But these metal pieces on the top are just so much bigger. And, and I think looking at these, I, I'm, I really think that I'm gonna replace, I have this one on my dark art shelf, the Noble Collection, and I think I'm gonna replace it with this one. Because although I know that I looked a little disappointed whenever I first pulled this out because it had the little bit of damage on the pages, which isn't nearly as bad as I thought it was initially. But, you know, the diary in the books, it wasn't treated that well. It wasn't a pristine condition. It was an old diary. It was thrown around, thrown in Moaning Myrtle's toilet. And I think having that little bit of damage on the pages just gives it a little character. So I'm actually very okay with that. So Lucius Malfoy, he, he sneaks this in to Ginny's cauldron or to Ginny's stack of books. And I think that this diary would be a lot more noticeable that, oh, this isn't one of my books, as opposed to this one that just kind of looks like a little black book that I don't think you would notice right away. So I think this is actually a really, really good representation of Tom Riddle's diary. And so I think I'm going to replace that one. I think this one's going to go on my shelves and I'm, I'm really excited about that. I just think this is a fantastic replica. Oh, one other thing about this that I really love is sometimes whenever you buy these officially licensed items, a little bit of the magic goes away when you open it and you see that on the inside. Now I know that they have to put their copyright on it, that one's a really big copyright and it just takes a little of the magic away. So having one like this, which does not have that anywhere inside of it is really nice. One last thing about this diary, it's the diary chest. So of course it's gonna be the thing I'm gonna talk about the most. One thing that I would love for someone to do, it was just a random thought I had while going through the pages on this. How fun would it have been if there was just one page in the middle of this book that just said, hello. You know, like whenever Harry's talking to Tom Riddle and he actually responds to him. I think that would be really cool. If I could find a stamp or something, I might do that myself. But yeah, I, I'm very happy with this. I think this is a really good diary replica. One thing that Cauldron Crate did, they decided to send the cheat sheet just not to waste paper or anything additional like that. They just sent us a PDF through our email for the cheat sheet. So I'm gonna kind of skim through it, just go over each item and if there's anything special about it, I'll let you know. So this is of course the diary chest, which is chest one in the Horcrux collection. The first item was the diary replica, which is handmade by Cauldron Crate. The one charm item that I said I wasn't sure what it was, it's a collectible wine charm. It says that this is the diary charm, one out of seven. So that's really fun to have little wine charms that are all the Horcruxes. I can definitely have some people over and give them different Horcruxes on their wine glass. And I just think that's, that's a really cool little idea. The next item was the set of three premium stickers. And then we have the personalized house acceptance certificate. We have the Basilisk Venom Potion, the house bath salts. Now it looks like the house bath salts are actually, it's different bath salts for each house that you're in. 
So I'm a Slytherin, so mine was eucalyptus and lime, and it had eucalyptus leaves in it. If you were a Ravenclaw, you would get lavender and lemon with lavender buds. Hufflepuff is sweet orange and lavender with orange peel. And then Gryffindor was sweet orange and rose with rose petals. So that's kind of fun that that's another little personalized item. You get it specific to your house. We have the Achievement Pin, the Enemies of the Air Vinyl. We have the Collectible Diary Story Art, which also said it's one of seven. So we will be getting one of those prints or those art pieces for each of the boxes in each of the Horcruxes. We have the, what? It says we have the diary page transcript. Did we get a diary page transcript? One reason that I always go over the cheat sheet at the end is in case I miss anything. And there's an item on here that said the diary page transcript. And I was like, I don't have anything like that. And then I look at this box and sorry, there's stuff all in here. Do you see that envelope and how it blends in with the bottom of the box? There's something else in here. We know it's a diary page transcript. I was just talking about having that in the diary. It's like they read my mind. They were like, oh, you wanted this? Let me give it to you. So let's open this. So anybody who left me at the cheat sheet, they're gonna be missing an item. We have this little same color envelope as the box. Okay, let's see what this looks like. <laughs> I'm really excited because I said I wanted it to say hello. And you can see where it says, my name is Harry Potter. Hello, Harry Potter. My name is Tom Riddle. Do you know anything about the Chamber of Secrets? Yes. Can you tell me? No, but I can show you. Let me take you back 50 years ago. This is amazing. This is exactly what I was saying that I wanted in this diary. And it says that it can be displayed alone or you can put it in the diary. I really don't know which one I wanna do because I really want this in the diary, but I can definitely see somebody having this just kind of displayed by itself as the first conversation between Lord Voldemort and Harry. I'm really excited. I'm glad that I missed this piece, but that it was in here because this, this makes it just even better. It's incredible. I'm very excited. <laughs> Okay, back to the cheat sheet. After the diary page transcript, we have the Phoenix Tears Charm and Key Ring. It does say handy as an antidote to the Basilisk Venom. We have the, the House and Diary Washi Tape. That's the things that I, I wasn't sure what they were called. But it looks like we got one for the diary, but then we also got one that was house themed. So I got a Slytherin one. If you were in Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Gryffindor, you would have got one based around your house. So those were all of the items that came in the, just the normal version of the box. But then there are four items that were in the premium version of the box. So that is going to be the monogram chest, which was the Rubius Hagrid chest. The next item is the crochet spider, which was inside of that chest. We have the Ginny sweatshirt and then the collectible diary story mug, which also says one out of seven. So it looks like with the print that comes in each of these boxes, with the premium boxes, you're also gonna get a mug for each of them, which is actually really, really fun to know because just getting one mug like this might not be somebody's cup of tea just to get one of them, but knowing that I can get one of these mugs for each Horcrux, that, that kind of makes it a whole different thing because I can get a series of mugs that are all going to be based around the Horcruxes and that's pretty exciting. I would definitely want to collect those. But that is our last item on the cheat sheet. Okay guys, so this box was not a cheap box for me to purchase. I did want to let you know that this box cost me about $85 before shipping and since it's based out of the United Kingdom, it was another almost $50 for shipping to get to me. So it is a little pricey. So definitely keep that in mind if you are thinking about getting this box as well. 
Now I'm trying to put the shipping costs out of my head because they can't really help that. I mean, I knew what that was gonna be whenever I got it. But for the price of the box, I mean, I think that there were some really nice items in here that do make it worth the value, especially because a lot of these items, they're gonna be becoming part of a collection and being able to collect all of those pieces is definitely something that I'm gonna to wanna to do. Now, trying to think of my favorite and least favorite items, I, I'm gonna start off with my least favorite because I, I definitely know which one is the least favorite. And it's not that they're bad items, it's just I'm not going to use them. It's not something that I use. So it's gonna be the different washi tapes. I know a lot of people use these and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna be excited to get them. It's just, it's not something that I use. I mean, I have a few planners, but I don't really decorate them too much. So that's gonna be my least favorite item. There's so many items in here that could be my favorite. Like I really like, I like so much of it, but with that little missed item <laughs> that we found during the cheat sheet, I think if you add the, if you add those two together, so if we add our page of the diary with the diary, it's definitely gonna have to be my favorite item. I like, I think this is beautiful anyways, but having this piece to go inside of it, it just made my whole day. I'm very, very excited about that. So that's gonna be my favorite item. Now, I would love to hear your guys' views on this box, especially with the price of it. If you would like to leave a comment, just let me know, did you think that this box was worth the price that I paid? And what your favorite and least favorite items were. I think there were a lot of different items that could, that depending on what you get boxes for or what your personal preference is, I think it could really go a lot of different ways with what you like and what you didn't. I myself am a huge fan of replicas. So getting boxes that actually have really nice replicas, more than one replica in a box, those are the kinds of boxes that I really enjoy and that I'm really looking for. I am really excited that I got to open this box tonight and I can't wait for the next box, which is currently on sale and it is the second Horcrux box that is all based around the ring. So that's gonna be really exciting and I can't wait to see what we have in there. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.